So guys, this is the moment I am finally testing my 9260 8i RAID card with a configuration that I think can make it reach an internal bottleneck. Holy crow. Look at that. So I have taken my dual Elmcrest configuration and I have doubled it. So I'm running four Intel SSD 510 series 120 gigabyte drives in RAID 0 using a 128 kilo kilobit 128k stripe and all of the other options that I found to be quite optimal. So here you can actually see my results with two drives and uh, these are my preliminary results with a single drive. Focus please. Come on, focus. You can focus. There you go. Okay, so I'm running five tests at four gigs across my 445 gig drive, which is those four drives in RAID 0, and it looks like we're looking at about 1.5 megabytes per second read, and that seems to be hitting an internal bottleneck on the RAID card itself. And then for writes, you can see the writes are just monstrous. So the writes are actually still scaling from two drives to four drives, almost exactly double. So we're looking at almost one gigabyte per second sequential write speeds to these four Intel 510 series drives. So I'm gonna just wait for the rest of the test to finish and then I'll show you guys the final results. Okay, so I finished running Crystal Disk Mark as well as PC Mark Vantage. So you can see here the suite has finished running. So on the left, I have the four drive array. You can see that random performance doesn't scale, uh, especially on the right side, quite as well as the sequential performance. On the right, I have dual drives on the onboard controller because really the only reason to run a third party controller on a P67 motherboard would be if you want to run more than two six gigabit per second SSD drives in RAID 0. So based on testing two drives on this controller, the 9260 against two drives on the onboard, performance was very similar. So we're looking at whether you would get any benefit from going to four drives from two drives using a third party controller, which you would need to do because no P67 motherboard supports more than two SATA 3 six gigabit per second drives in RAID 0. So here you've got the Crystal Disk Mark performance numbers. And here the PC Mark Vantage numbers are a bit of a mystery. So I'll just show you the actual scores here. So hold on, let me just try and remember which is which. Yeah, here we go. So here's the onboard rate where we have 66 megs per second in as the, oh, no, that's the PC Mark score. Yeah. 66,644 hard drive PC mark score. Whereas with the four drive RAID 0, we have 58,537 PC mark score. All right, so the onboard RAID 0 with two drives actually scores better overall than the four drive RAID 0 array, but we don't really understand why that is until we go a little bit deeper into the results. So you can see here, actually, why don't I put these side by side so you can compare them more easily. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so at the bottom we have our RAID 0, or rather on the left we have our RAID 0 with four drives, and on the right we have our RAID 0 on the onboard controller with two drives. So you can see the four drive RAID 0 array cleanly beats the onboard two drive array, which it should, so it should, in everything but video editing using Windows Live Movie Maker and Windows Media Center where this one destroys it. So this looks like it's actually skewing the results overall because you can see as you get further down adding music, uh, application loading, things like uh, antivirus, these all score dramatically better on the four drive RAID 0 array. So I'm going to pull out one more result here using my handy dandy mark reader and that is going to be the two drives on the RAID controller rather than on the onboard. So you can see that the score is actually quite similar. Look at that. So it looks like our performance doesn't scale that much with the add-in RAID controller, the LSI controller, by adding more drives. 
So there you have it. It looks like two drives is about all that we are able to leverage with PC Mark Vantage. I mean, you can see the scores do improve a little bit. This is four drives. This is two drives, but that's pretty much it. So thanks guys for checking out this video on running four Intel SSD 510 SATA 3 6 gigabit per second drives against two drives. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.